Mm, boy, of course he's got to bark, right? Does anybody see me out here? My volume all right? Mm, let's see. I'm just going to um, proceed with my video here, um, even though nobody sees me. Huh. Um, hello, everyone. So I don't um, come live that often, I guess. So sending out notifications that I'm live is, you know, probably not happening. But anyhow, um, the last videos, I can't remember where I had left off. But I did um, make some cards, I believe, out of the stamp set on life. But anyhow, this stamp set here, I happened to find this, I told you, at my local Walmart. It's a super Walmart. And they have all kinds of things. You can do your food shop in there, your clothes shop in there, your, what is it, uh, your home improvement stuff there. Like all kinds of things there, right, at Walmart. We all know about Walmart, don't we? So I happen to find this, right, in the clearance aisle. I always hit that clearance aisle, which I shouldn't because these little things get me. <laughs> but there's not always a lot of them. You get really lucky sometimes. So I wanted to challenge myself, and I wanted to see how many um, how many cards I could make out of this just this one little set. My favorite was this one, obviously, that you'll see in the um, in my cards. I loved this one. This was fun. This was a little difficult for me. I don't know, but I, I try to use everything in here and I'm going to show you um, the different cards that I made with just this one simple little stamp I found, you know, stamp set that I found on clearance. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, expensive stamps or anything. You can even do this with stickers, which I will show you some of those too as well. If you happen to remember my other video too, when I was showing my Dollar Tree, a little Dollar Tree haul or something at one point, I purchased some Dollar Tree stickers that were so adorable. They were kitty cats. And I was trying to figure out how am I going to incorporate that in my card making because they are so adorable. I had to figure it out. So I'm going to also show you some ideas on what you can do with just Dollar Tree stickers. But your card stock that you use for card making, it really does matter. Um, I use, like here's a piece of the black. I like to get the, um, for my base for my cards, I like to have um, the 110 pound cardstock um, from Recollections from Michaels. You get a lot and it's, it's good quality and it's nice and sturdy. So it makes your cards stand up really well, especially when you're layering them with different, you know, um, die cuts or stickers or, you know, anything like that you want a nice strong card base that is like number one so if you are going to attempt making cards i do um highly encourage you to at least start off but i would get the the white of course definitely get the white um card stock that they have if you go on michael's craft store you can even get it online my cats are fighting playing i don't know sorry about that but if you go on Michael's, um, you can get it there. That's and that's what I use for my card bases. Um, other than that, you can get their card stock from, you know, you can get their regular card stock for, you know, die cutting and all that kind of stuff. But I usually go to Gina K Designs. I love her inks. I love her products. I love her her um, card stock for my card making. Um, but I really only use the recollections 110 pound card stock because I know it's really good quality. It's hard. Like it's nice and sturdy. Um, you can't go wrong with that. So just saying it's good. I highly recommend that. And also too, if you can get yourself a watercolor pad, um, for watercolor paper, um, I don't have one on hand, but if you can get yourself some water, uh, watercolor paper, that's also something you could use because 
you cut out your little like this here that I did. I still have yet to um, make this into a card. I just haven't had no time. I'll explain that in a minute. But this here um, is uh, my watercolor paper, and you can use any kind of watercolor solubles on it, whether it's your just um, distress oxides, distress inks, watercolors, um, uh, the crayons, you know, the uh, you know the the pens, anything watercolor, water soluble um, for your for the watercolor paper. Now you can also have your smooth side and your, your rough side, but this is always good. And then you cut it down. You can get a lot out of it. So you would use that for your, anything that you're using, um, your oxide sprays, things like that. You'd want a more durable type of absorbent paper for that type of stuff. So you would get a pack of, you know, watercolor paper. You don't have to go buy the expensive stuff. Um, let me see if I can show you. I will show you something. Um, just to give you an idea, because I do have one that's a little costly, but I haven't used it. But when you do see all this stuff like on sale, Strathmore, you can get the um the the, the drawing paper, all kind. Try to grab some of these, like they say, you know, if you can get a few different kinds, and then you just you just cut your pieces out. There's all types, but definitely like Walmart even has that. You can get that there. Um, Walmart has cardstock there as well that I use that's an in between the 110 pound and, and the regular like 65 pound paperweight that you get from cardstock. Um, it's, it was, was it like the Georgia Pacific or I can't remember. Um, I have it somewhere. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know if that's the same brand anymore, but I was getting this, I think, can I get this from Walmart? I need to kind of get it from. But this here also is another good um, paper, maybe from Walmart, if you can't really get it from, uh, you know, from like a craft store or something. So Walmart, I don't know which they have now, but it, they, they might have changed the name from what I've heard. But this is really good because this can actually, like, this goes in my printer with no problem because it's not too thick. So I can copy something, you know, print it out, and I can cut it and cut it out, fussy cut it and use it on a card. Um, so this paper is really good. This one I only love to use for my printer when I want to print something on, you know, a more heavy type of paper. And even though it says like the heavy weight that it is here, it's still for some reason um, not as durable as the Recollections from Michaels. It's Re Recollections from Michaels is just, I, I swear by it. That's how I make all my cards. But yeah, this is good paper. Um, I love it. Just saying. I should have the watercolor paper out where I can really get it. So yeah, I'm used to talking to myself because I'm used to making videos recorded and then, you know, playing with my editing software and then uploading. So this is fine for me if, uh, you know, I'm alone in my life. So let's see. I've got to put some things away. Now I've been very, very busy. Um, trying to redo furniture and stuff for Christmas gifts. Um, I just, I'm, I have a gift of making pieces of crap furniture look amazing. I just have that gift. I do. And that's one thing I know that I realized that. So that's really cool. So I'm making three gifts, three furniture gifts. Um, one for my son, one for, um, Nick's mom and one for a special friend. I, I would want it for myself so bad, but I can't. I don't have no room. So I don't know. It, anyway, I can't post any of that stuff on here now as to what I'm doing with the furniture only because they're gifts. And if they see, I don't want them to see because it's taking me, you know, a while to make these. It's, it's not easy always, especially when you're disabled and you have like issues and stuff like that. It's a slow process, but it's going to be worth it. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to show you my card share that I did, uh, the cards that I made. I'm going to show you, let's see, I believe I'm going to show you these ones here. So I made all these with this one stamp set. Okay. I believe I did this one. I might've done this one on live. I don't remember. Um, it's been a little while since I went live. But um, so it's just a very simple card with just it's it's no layering or anything. It's just one little 
fold, you know, on one little card. I always sign the back like that. So this way I know, you know, when, when I made it and um, it's just how I've been doing it. I don't have like a, an actual stamp for myself for the back of cards. It's not a big deal. Um, but this here, so that's my first one. And I, you know, what I did was I just used the oxide inks, which, you know, distress oxide. I use those, um, which they're amazing. So I did that there and I did the splatter on that one. This one here is much thicker because I, I layered it. And that's what I'm saying here. When you see, when you, when you don't lay, it's, it's kind of like, you know, a little flimsy. It stands nice, right? But when you add the layers onto the card, you want to make sure that it's going to stand well, right? You want it to stand well with all your layers on there. So I don't like to put anything inside my handmade cards for the most part. Sometimes it just depends. But for the most part, I usually don't put a sentiment in the middle um, inside my cards because I feel that you should write your own words in there. Even if it's just a little something, you know, it's, it just means more to me if it comes, you know, from your heart, your words. If you want something from Hallmark, then you can go get it or you can just print yourself something up and stick it in, right? <laughs> it's easier than writing sometimes. You just make a little paper, print it, size it, put it in there, you know? So that's another card that I did with that stamp set. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that in there. So let's see, we got, that's two. Then I did this one. Oh my God, they just get so pretty. Look how pretty these are. For a little set that only costs like barely $4, right? So, you know, like I said, I layered it. This black one, um, the black cardstock here is, I think I'm, I used all, I think I might've used all the heavyweight with this one. Um, yep. Yeah, and then again, nothing inside. Well, I put a little, a little um, heart there. I thought that was cute. You know, like sometimes I'll add something, sometimes I won't. So that's three cards with that one set so far, right? bubble fall off of one of my cards well that's not good um i don't know which card it came from but i'll just pop it there oh boy you can't do that when you have no nails i mean when you have nails um i'll just do that after i guess right because i don't just stay all right that's okay so anyhow then um i'm going to show you the ones i did with the so then, you know, then of course, like you don't you add your little sequence and stuff to decorate it. It's you, it's simple. This is just simple card making, like you're not going crazy, but still this does take a long time. They can take up to an hour or longer, depending on how much you do, how much work you do into it. Just for making one handmade card. It's not, you know, it, it takes some time. They're little pieces of art, you know? And then of course I did the back like that again. And of course, sometimes you get little splanters and stuff like that because they're handmade. Um, and then I did it this way. Now this one I did on black. So what I did was I used my white pigment ink that I had. I have this one here. I have a lot of different brands, but I love Lawn Fawn and Gina K. Um, Lawn Fawn and Gina K inks is the ones that I do collect. And of course the, um, the Distress, which, you know, I don't have all the Distress oxides, but I, you know, eventually and I would like to because they're really good. But anyhow, so this is what I did. And for the inside, because it's black, not everybody has white pens or anything. I just added this inside. So you can put your little note in there, you know, write your little message under there. It doesn't have to be, you know, crazy insane like these books that Hallmark make, right? So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five cards, five cards, six. This is another one that I did. It's pretty, pretty, right? Just really pretty. You can do that on the side. You're going to cross back, right? Feel how nice and sturdy. I mean, you can't, but look at that. It stands up good. It's just really nice, right? Um, you made my day. There you go. And then we do another with that. So there you go, right? You can add things inside it and stuff like that. Of course, I have to. The one thing I do not always do is put the envelopes with my cards after I make them, which, you know, I really need to do that. Okay, so there's one. Oh, I gotta count them all again. How many cards did I make? I thought I made more than this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. Nine. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I thought so. Nine cards. All right. So then, of course, um, another different type you can give to a, you know, a, a man if you wanted. Um, and then it's, a, you know, 
that inside, I'm sure it can be seen. So out of the stamps, right, this one, most of them were done with this, and I try to use all the words. Um, but this one here, I did this. I did that on the back of that. So that was pretty cool. That was cool, right? You know, there's only so much you can really do with that, I guess. It's not bad, right? And of course, um, um, as far as my little um, splats go, what I did was I, I, I had like a clear stamp block and I squirt my um, oxide spray onto it. And it's very, you know, and maybe sometimes I'll add a little water and then I just get my brush and flick. And it works really good with the oxide spray. So you don't have to be running around looking for that and the other thing, you know, um, gotta have splatters, right? And the other one that I thought was adorable, I said, how am I gonna do this? You could do this so many different ways with the, the little dots, right? So what I did do is this one. I love it. It just came out so adorable, right? I did take pictures of the cards. I'm not sure if I can re-edit this video after I post it. I've never done anything like that and then add the photos in. Um, that would be pretty nice, but it's just so, look at this. It's so nice. I just love handmade cards. There is nothing better than getting a handmade card, especially if you knew the work that went into it. Um, they're made with lots of love because it's, it's somebody's art it's it's just somebody's little piece of art that you have one of a kind you know you can try to copy you know your stuff but of course they're never going to come out all the same because you're making it yourself right so i got all those cards i stopped there at nine nine cards with one little stamp set right you can that's that's what i highly recommend seriously too when you are making your cards Try to make multiple out of one stamp set so you know you're getting your money's worth. Um, it's just, it's once you have that, and then this way you can pay it forward if you wanted to, but you had your cards, you know. You, you made all your cards, and hopefully you got your money's worth out of it. So I highly recommend, like, encourage you, if you're going to make cards, try to make more than one when you're making it. Why not? All the stuff's out for it, you know. And it's always nice to have multiple of, like, different things because you never know you know what kind of occasion is going to come up which i need to do birthday cards by the way now if you remember my um one of my videos i just recently did i had purchased some stickers from dollar tree we all purchase stickers from dollar tree right i have all kinds of stickers and if you look back at some of my videos i believe i have at least two showing you different ways to make um cards with Dollar Tree stickers. Um, I also, let's see, let me see if I can find it. If you ever get, um, oh, you'll see it in the card. I'm going to show you the cards that I did, if you remember. And most of you who shop at Dollar Tree should remember seeing these because probably all of us bought them, right? But I decided to show you how I was going to make some, you know, handmade cards using the proper card stock, though. Like, that really does matter. It really, really, it makes a difference, okay? And it's really not that expensive at all. It's very affordable. And you can get a lot, a ton, a ton, ton, ton out of it. Um, like if I could show you all the cards that I have hanging just for inspiration, which I hate to like get rid of them ever, but they're so pretty. Um, so anyhow, do you all remember these little packs of uh, kittens that Dollar Tree has? I think there's five in a pack. And then if you happen to notice Dollar Tree, oh boy, I'm sorry, guys. That should be okay, though, I guess. Um, my neighbor's playing his drums. Um, so anyway, I have this card. Well, if you buy, um, I'm kind of a little distracted here with that. So this card here, the words, um, the cutouts, Dollar Tree sells, you know, all their little cutouts and stuff. So you don't have to die cut out words or buy a die cutting machine and all that good stuff when you can just use... The little stickers they have you know that they sell for your um for your words for your sentiments for your words and your cards uh let's see, let's see if i can show you something that i bought so i mean i still have like these left can you see that this is what's left and i can use that on another card somehow you know maybe i have something with glasses and i can say cheers or whatever right 
Um, so yeah, that's uh, what you do is just get those. You don't have to, you know, or you can, it's, it's just easy. Like I said, you can just cut them out. Anyhow, you don't have to have stamps. You don't need stamps is what I'm saying to make a card, a handmade card. You can make them with Dollar Tree stickers. Um, and of course, you know, inks and things help your background. But. So this is my first card. Um, I thought it was adorable with Dollar Tree. Um, I just added some little twine there. You can get this like Dollar Tree anywhere. You know what I mean? Just added it on for a little decoration. Um, the inside again, a little, a little crooked, but that's okay. Right. And then, oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, and I forgot to do that. I got to do those. I can't leave my cards like that undone. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I don't know which ones I want to show you first. They're all so damn cute. Um, so anyway, here's another one that I did. Now, this one, obviously, you know, it's on you. I don't. I think Dollar Tree is stepping it up a bit with paper. Um, they're selling some paper packs and stuff. But this is, you know, of course, my paper and cardstock here, but... And I have that flower. But they sell this type of stuff at Dollar Tree where you can get this stuff. You get a pack, and then you can make a bunch of little cards, right? Um, and you can use foam mount, uh, foam mounting and stuff like that, like just some foam for pushing it up. Um, yeah, I'm live. and But anyhow, so this one's adorable. I use some really pretty paper um, to back you know, for the backdrop. And then, you know, good morning, and the little kitty. Who doesn't like little kitties? So anyone who has picked up these you know, Dollar Tree stickers, and you want to know what to do with them, here's an idea. I love them. I thought they were so cute. I need to do more, really. So I have that one. And um, here's another one. Isn't that adorable? And, you know, I use my die cut for this to make it a little prettier. But you don't have to do it this way. You know, you can cut this out. You can do it any way you want. But I used, you know, some die cuts that I had. And, you know, I just put everything together. And that hello... I literally just hand wrote it myself, literally just did it myself. And I don't write that great. You know, I have issues with my hands and stuff. So um, I, it just, it looks pretty good. And then of course the inside is just plain for you to write your own content. I mean, your own content, your own um, words from your heart or whatever you want to write. Just a little note, just a little hello. You make simple, cute little cards all made by you. Okay. Um, this one, I did this one here. Uh, I thought it was adorable. Just did the little background myself. It figures when you go live, right? This all stuff happens. Um, hopefully, you guys are hearing me just fine. You're not hearing all this backdrop noise. Oh, right, Jordan? Jesus. All right, why were you having right now? Coffee or something? Why are you taking that? What are you eating? What are you having that? You need that, eggnog? Um, all right. So, of course, um, a, a lot of these uh, little words that I had from that sticker set from Dollar Tree I used with the little things just to decorate it. Um, the backdrop I did with uh, watercolor, I just made it myself, literally. I just did a bunch of watercolor and uh, mixed it around and then down here just with a brush. I'm not no fancy person, just, you know, but that's this card. And ooh, that one's got a lot of kisses. I got to finish the back of the other ones. I don't understand why I didn't do that. Okay. So, um, and then the last one I did, because there's five, I, it's just, I did the backdrop myself, just hand painted it with some watercolors, um, or, you know, watercolors, anything I think pretty sure it was watercolors, but that's what I did for the backdrop, and it, it, it's so pretty and so simple. Um, of course, this was from a stamp set that I had, I believe it's a lawn fawn one. You don't, you know, you can hand write it, you don't have to, or like I said, you can use, you know, like the word stickers from Dollar Tree right? Uh, you know what else you can even do? Seriously, um, I'm going to try doing cards too. Like, all right, here's these I've been, uh, that I had purchased from, from Dollar Tree as well. I have all different kind of things. But what I want to do with these, I want to heat emboss them uh, to be, you know, a different color. Put them in my, um, my Versafine and just heat emboss it with um, embossing powders to make it like different and then put that on the card. So I have three here, so I got to do some kind of happy birthday card, right? I believe I, did I get some stickers from Dollar Tree? Because I'm thinking, ooh, that could be my next thing. My craft room right now, okay, my craft room is, is it seems like it's big, but it's not. It's really not because we don't have storage. We don't have closet space. A lot of things that we have are in this room of all kinds of things. It's, it's literally a workshop, and it's a mess right now because I have so much going on. 
I have so many things going on in my mind that I need to do. Um, I want to come back and also try to do like some Christmas projects um, live as well. But this here, let me see. So if you get these here, you can paint them. You can do anything to them. I hope they ain't broken. It kind of looks weird, right? But anyhow, you can do whatever to these and you can put them on your cards as well for your sentiments. Like what else do I have? Birthday, um, hugs, right? You can do any of these. You can just paint them, put glitter on them. Um, there's so many different ideas, right? Oh, I guess I got a lot of hugs. I can make a lot of cards that have hugs, right? Um, boy, I really wish I could show you the furniture I was making right now. I just can't. And the funny thing is, is I didn't take a before picture of what it looked like before I messed with it. I forgot. I was so into doing what I was doing. But I want to see if I have some stickers here. I know I had something. Is this? Yes, from Dollar Tree. Okay. All right. I don't know if anybody has found this yet. I've had this for quite a while. And obviously, it's from Jot. Um, but look at look at this stuff on here. I can't wait to try to make some birthday cards. Um, everybody needs birthday cards, right? You can just make all kinds. I'm going to try and do a bunch of like faster, simple ones. Um, and then, you know, maybe as I clean my craft room and stuff and start getting more organized because right now my crafts are off the wall. I'm making furniture. I want to sew. I'm trying to glue and put things together and uh, I'm making cards. Um, I'm doing a lot of different things at once in this little space. So once I get all this Christmas stuff and all this stuff out of the way, then, you know, I'm going to get back to, I don't know what I was going to say here. I kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, I'll show you anyhow, but look at this. Okay. I can't wait to see the, you know, to make cards with this. I'm really curious. Oh, so I'll get to more extravagant card making probably like shaker cards and, you know, cutting out more things and stuff like that. Like I'll, I'll probably do that. Um, more sewing, things like that on my, you know, YouTube channel. Just got to get the energy. It's so hard and I've got to get my craft room back, you know, but look, they, you can even, I, I don't even know if these are stickers or rub-ons, but look at that. You know, you can just put somebody's name on it, personalize it. Um, but look at this. You can put little, all kinds of little, it's just so cute, right? So Dollar Tree stickers rock. You don't need to go to the big fancy stores to get their stickers because I just showed you right here how adorable you can make Dollar Tree stickers look on, on, on just a card, a simple card. Um, so I do have a lot of stuff going on in my head. I have ADHD. My head's spinning with things that I want to do. I just don't have the room or the time to get it all done. Um, so... I'm going to show you something else that I wanted to plan. I'm trying to, um, besides doing this here, I, I really want to make dolls soon, but I don't have no space to do any sewing right now with all the stuff that I'm doing with painting and furniture redoing and all that kind of stuff. But um, so I'm trying to think, uh, for one, I want to figure out something that I want to make with this. And when I do that, I'm probably going to do that live as well, or I'll record it. But I'd like to go live sometimes, you know, even if nobody's here to it's still like making a video for me, except for I can't play music and you hear my family. <laughs> um, but anyhow, what else did I want to show you? I have other cards that I do want to show you that I made using background stamps as well, um, which I don't have one out right now to show you. But the big um, square background stamps, okay, I have purchased some. And after I bought them, I was like, oh, I'm like, how do I use them? I'm like, what do I do? I really wasn't thinking about that part. I was thinking about how pretty they are. And then I was thinking, hmm, you know, like they're kind of all going to be similar if I use just background stamps. But I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I have five that I could show you, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, some cards I may make on a video or, a, you know, on a live or some was that I will just do a card share and just show you what I had created. And then if anyone wants me to do like a tutorial or anything on, you know, making a card with stickers on live or something like that, I can do that for you. Just, just, you need to comment down below and let me know. Um, you got to talk to me, right? Cause we're friends. We're friends. Once you watch me and subscribe, we're friends. So I'm going to get something for you. All right.
So what I'm trying to do here is I do want to hopefully come on live. I made this here. I don't even know if you can even see any of this. It's a tree, right? And I do have a video, I think. You have to look at my stuff. It's getting dusty. Um, I made this just out of literally, like, I just used poster board from Dollar Tree. Um, I want to make another one. I want to do it different. Poster board from Dollar Tree. I, I rolled it into a cone and I kind of stuffed it to give it a little sturdiness. Um, I, might, I don't even know if I got that from Dollar Tree. I don't remember. Or I could have got it on a sale somewhere. So I made a little bottom for it. Um, it's getting a little old. You know, I've had it for a couple of years, I think now. Um, and I usually do put the fairy lights on it that you can get from Amazon that are the little, uh, the little pieces. Yeah, and I'll show you. But I had them on, but the, the cat ruined them, so I have to fix it. I have to put another one on it. But, you know, I had little bows, whatever you have, and you just decorate it. Um, some of these things I had gotten from, like, Dollar Tree even. You know, and you just put anything on. It's so pretty. And I actually leave this around all year. But I want to make another one because it's so much fun. It really is. Um, using the cones on top, some bells, right? It's just shabby and so pretty. And, um, yeah, you need to go back and look at my videos. I do have Christmas videos. Um, I made gnomes different ideas on gnomes um wreaths centerpieces um ornaments yeah i don't you know I, I there's a lot of christmas things on there for you to go look at um I, I probably should do some christmas cards but yeah so it jingles too it's just really nice it stands i wish you could see the whole thing but i can't obviously fit it in there right now but i'm sure i have it in like pictures in a video but so I want to do that. So I do have a ton of flowers um, that I need to use. I have so much stuff I need to use up. Dan, you to go around the other way, I think. I do have to around, but I wanted to show you. So if you go online to Amazon, um, if anybody wants the link, you tell me. And then I'll go searching for it and I will put it in my description bar down below in the video if you want the link to these tell me they are not pricey at all okay and what it is it's it's you get this all right if you um it's just this this little flat piece and obviously well you can see a little bit here i don't want to get like zapped this is the one that they broke but it lights up so pretty you have you could pick different you know colors or whatever and it's about what is it is it 20 little lights on them and it really you know, and they last a while. And this is the cool thing too, right? You can, um, you can get when they, when you don't have to take it off your project. Okay. What you do is you go to Dollar Tree and you pick this up and this is the number for it. In case you don't know, um, for this particular one. So if I link you this, this is what you look for, um, in Dollar Tree for your battery refills. It takes two batteries teeny tiny screws make sure you have a teeny tiny screwdriver and you just replace them you don't have to take them off your project because if anyone has seen my galaxy rose video that i made woof oh my gosh i used um the foil pans from dollar tree and i cut out um with a paper punch which I don't even know if that was even easy. I'm trying to think. You have to be careful because you can cut yourself. Seriously. So I used paper punch and I cut out flowers. Um, so there was five cutouts for each for each flower I had to do. Oh, my God. This project felt like it was never going to end. Because each one, I did 20, 20 flowers. And they are so beautiful. And thank God I can just, you know, replace the batteries. Because, Wow. What I did was after I made the flowers, I literally like put all these little pieces in the center of my flowers and I made my own, you know, flower garland, uh, garland. I'd love to show you, but it's, you know, on something you have to go back into my videos. If I can, and like I said, I'll try to link that one down below as well. Um, I can try and link a few videos down below, but you're better off just looking through because I have all kinds of different things in there of all different stuff, um, different projects and stuff like that. But yes. If you want this stuff, please tell me, and I will link it down below. Um, so that's the good thing about these lights. Because if you get the ones from Dollar Tree, you're constantly using the batteries in there, and which sometimes the batteries can leak. 
and it's that big square thing and it's not easy to shove in stuff you know what i'm saying oh i got an idea i'll show you so why i kept that i don't know i think it was because the batteries had still you know worked but uh right like i had found this little dome which oops from dollar thing and of course you know you can fix it however you want but i just did this for a little just to see you could put anything in there right but look can you see that light up i don't know if that's showing it um, let me see if i shut this off isn't that pretty those lights so this is the lights you know actually when our power ran out i had a bunch of them i just kind of turned them on every way and we could see it was amazing <laughs> they're not so bad they're really cool um you could put little um little mermaid statues or gnomes or anything in there that'll fit right i just uh i really don't know what i was gonna i just did this i think because we had no power and i said oh this would be cute to you know give me some light when i'm <laughs> oops oh, that's terrible right all right yeah so crack the lanch yeah my head's spinning with mad ideas mad mad ideas um let's see I have a lot to get done today, too. So what I do want to try to do is definitely want to figure out some things that I want to decoupage this on. It's just so pretty. I got to figure something out with that. So that's in my head. Making the trees in my head. Finishing some more cards. I have to finish the furniture. It's so close to being done. It's, you know, I have some drilling to do, some nailing and stuff like that, gluing and stuff. I have to put things in place. It's pretty much painted you know, I got some touch-ups and things to do and some stuff to add to it. But it's pretty much done for that part. Um, but anyhow, so I need to do this here. I, I have some jars. I have some white um, chalk paint. I want to try and do something with jars or something. I don't know. We'll see, right? We could put the fairy lights inside them. I'm going to need more of those fairy lights. Um, you can go through them pretty fast. You get like, I don't know if you get like 20 in a box or something. I'll have to show you. It's really cool. Um yeah, so that's definitely something I guess I will do is try to get the links in there. Uh, what else do I have to share with you while I'm here? Um, but it, oh, that's another thing too. I want to try making um, I want to try making something out of this stamp which I showed you before. I want to try printing it on you know like stamping it on fabric. I have a special fabric that looks like um, mermaid type. I want to I want to cut it out and see if I can make it. I don't know like a tag or something. See what I can do with that creatively, too. I know the holidays are coming. Um, these are great little gift ideas that hopefully I'm doing as well. Um, or just stuff for yourself at home. But, uh, yeah, so I have a lot to get done. And instead of just sitting here, you know, talking and talking and not getting it done, I should probably get busy because we also have to run to the market and get things because we need water and stuff like that because we drink water. What do we get? We get the five gallon gallons, uh, five gallon jugs. We get four, four or five a month, and we go through them a month. Like we drink water like crazy. I don't care if my kids have soda or anything. So very rarely they'll have that. But yeah, so hopefully uh, I've inspired you to try to make some cards of your own with Dollar Tree stickers and supplies. And of course you need, you know, you just even if you have to go to Walmart or something. Just, you know, just try to get a more sturdy cardstock and watercolor paper is always a good thing to have on hand as well, because you can just do, you know, anything with watercolors or just, you're, you know, making splats with your paint and stuff like that, splatters. And there's so many things you can do to make your cards look amazing. So, you know, oh, that's another thing too, guys. I'll show you something else. If, um, let me see. Oh, where did I put that now? No, oh, wait. Um, oh, I got it. I've got things all over. That's a thing that's just so not organized in here. Um, I've got to fix this in here because I did have a Dollar Tree one. That's the one. I had a Dollar Tree lights in here, but then I've got to put these lights in here because I took those Dollar Tree ones. But this is really nice also. What I had, now, you don't need to get this. All right, if you see here, this is like a bodice, right? Like a woman's type of bodice you know the top part of a woman um it was you know cardstock it's, it's thick you can literally you know draw one yourself or like you know go online like trace it you can trace it and do that yourself 
Now, I'm not sure if it was Dollar Tree or a, it might have been a Hobby Lobby where I had found these, but Dollar Tree sells some. But if you want some more realistic ones, definitely go to a craft store for that. And then um, also, um, oh my God, now hold on. My, uh, la, 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 my uh, Alexa, stop. Oh boy. Okay. So anyway, these ribbons were so beautiful. I, um, I, I bought those when they were on sale from Michael's. It's all dusty. And what I did was, you know, I put all this stuff in to make it look like um, one of those Christmas tree um, dress forms, right? So I thought, why not just make one of my own? So what I did was, I don't know if you can even see any of this. So I put some music paper um, with Mod Podge and Mod Podge music paper on, right? Then, of course... There's words, was it? You can, you know, like I said, you can paint them, distress them, do anything you want. I just added whatever, you know, I could find that was shabby, like vintagey looking, um, and put it all on, right, all around. And then obviously, you know, decorated it with all this, and it's so pretty. Um, so it's a different idea for a holiday wreath type of thing. That's what I did. I have a video on this. I also made a shabby chic one um very pretty i love it it's just getting dusty i just got to figure out you know how to take care of that um a flower center that i made and i added that on with some what do you call that um doily right and doily you can get this stuff i like to buy like a lot of this type of stuff you can if you find a good one from dollar tree get it there if not wait till after the holidays and you buy all these little things and picks when they're on sale after the holidays um so that's what I did and I just added little pretty things just to try to make it look like you know a dress form holiday dress form type of tree you know how they do that so I, I thought this was a better way to do it I, I do have like the videos on small ones I made too as ornaments just like this but and then of course you know you can put these lights in it I didn't do that right now what I did was on the back I had velcro because when I did the um the one from Dollar Tree that big box the big box, you know, I had it velcroed onto here and then I, you know, put all the lights in there, but I just didn't like it. It was so bulky. So somehow if I, you know, do these lights and then I put them in there, it'll look really pretty like that. Um, yeah. So I like that. And that's one idea. They sell, um, they sell all kinds of little hangers and stuff, you know, but I had one, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it's somewhere. It was, it was better than this, but you, if you look in the video, you'll see it, but I, I'm using this for now to hang it on there. So, oh, and then also too, you have, you have, um, I know this is, it's my family guys. That's why I can't go live all the time. I should be doing this during the week, but anyway, look at this. This is, um, just some little bling that I had. I just threw it on there and stuff like that, but I love this thing, right? I'm going to show you one more. Just trying to give you guys some ideas. You can make them home decor for yourself. You can make them as gifts. Um, you, you can do whatever you want. All right, so this here was a little more, um, a little more pricey to make because the fabric that I bought for it. So I'm going to show you the back first. It's getting so dusty. I have to figure out how to clean it because it's it's been around for a while, just hanging and stuff. Okay, so this pink fur, oh my gosh, I just I bought a piece because I just I needed to use it for something, right? Because I had this idea. Um, what I did here is I kind of like cut out this to, to hide the uh, the lights that I was using, but I took those out as well because I have to do them again. Um, and of course, pretty stuff from Michaels. You know, you can get ribbons wherever you want. You just whatever tool you get the the tool. And of course, I use these again. Um, and then just different you know ribbons and stuff just to hang and make it look nice. But um, this one I did a little different. So I think it's so pretty. This this was not, you know, this 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 was uh I don't know if I got it on clearance or if I actually just bought like a, like a half a yard or something. But um yeah, this like I said, it wasn't cheap, but I knew I was, you know, using this for something for myself. But if anybody knows how I can like clean this, like how do you clean this type of stuff after when it gets dusty? I don't know what to do and I, of course I don't want to ruin it. 
maybe a wet, like a wipe or something. But of course, you know, add my bling on it and stuff. I just, I made this, I put this on here. Um, I added the trim to it and stuff, all hot glue gun, of course. Um, and then I was like, what can I do with clocks? You know, <laughs> I, I just needed to use them. So I added those on there as well. Um, and then of course you can see all the pretty little laces and stuff. And yeah, I hang that up and it's just so shabby pretty. You can add anything to it. Uh, it's just, you know, whatever you like, obviously. I just gotta get a, a better, I, got, I've, I don't know what I did with my hanger. It needed to be fixed. Um, so I had taken it off. But yeah, so I can put my fairy lights in that as well. But you know, I didn't want to keep using them all for myself, my fairy lights. I've got to get some, you know, on projects and stuff. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right. Let me just turn this back. If you can't leave everything out, you know, I mean, so, um, instead of me just like showing you everything in my craft room that I have, because like everything in my house is like pretty much, you, you see, my hands have touched everything in this house in some creative way or form in this house. But anyway, seriously, uh, go back, look at my videos. If there's anything, you know, specific that you want, that you want to see, or if you can't find something and you need a link to it, let me know. I'll post the links down below. Um, but definitely check out my my Christmas videos that I have. I should make playlists. And uh, yeah, and I guess I'll just be back when I can because I'm busy, busy making things, right? It's just not all stuff you can put on film. But, you know, hopefully um, I'll be back soon. And uh, I don't know. Like, I want to do that tree. I've got to find where I put my faux fur. Oh, my God. I'm going to Walmart today. Um, yeah. So, oof. Anyhow. But, all right, guys. I um, appreciate anyone who stops by and, you know, watches my video. And if you're still here, thank you so, so much. Um, and also, what I would like, too, is to let you know is when I make things, I want to give them away. So if you leave comments and talk to me, um, you never know when I could have a surprise giveaway with something, right? Something that I've made, anything. So please comment down below because I'm trying to work on making Happy Mail and I would love to give somebody a Happy Mail. So you never know. But anyway, I hope to see people actually in my lives when I go live. I'll try to let you all know next time. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I got to get back to work though, right? So, all right, guys, I need to say thank you so, so much. Um, again, if you're a subscriber, please um, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a friend. Um, what's better than having friends, right? So here's these cards. I made all these cards. Um, so you can see that I've been very busy, right? <laughs> this card I can't show yet. This one, of course, you know, that was my Halloween one. And these are the other two ones that I had made. That's a lot of cards and figure you're taking at least like an hour, if not more on each card. So yeah, I, I, I am doing things. Um, but <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again real soon.